What's up everyone, my name is Alex, I'm one of the co-founders of MyInvestingClub.com and I want to let you guys know about something special we're doing for our viewers on YouTube. So the most common question we get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did is we created a free two-hour mentorship course for the brand new trader. It's going to be available at MyInvestingClub.co, the link is going to be right here. This is a free webinar that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they start. I also wanna let you guys know about something that's very unique to MIC. So if you have any questions about trading or you're curious about trading or you don't know if MIC is the right fit for you, now you can text our head mentor, Tosh, whose number is gonna be right here, and he'll answer all the questions that you have in less than 24 hours. Thank you and enjoy the video. What's up everyone, it's Tom Dizzo here. Uh, hope you guys had a great weekend. Uh, today, Alex just released uh, you know, a podcast from uh, James and Harry, uh, did it, uh, I mean, it was like, I think Thursday or Friday. Uh, it was pretty sick, uh, you know, on how Bao started trading. So uh, you, if you haven't checked it yet, go check it out. Uh, I just, uh, you know, watched the part one, I'm waiting for part two now, so it should be dope. Um, yeah, so uh, back to today's topic. Uh, today, I want to go over, I think, you know, this topic is is pretty, you know, is, I mean, we've been talking about this, uh, you know, Austin did a webinar on this, but I, I seem to find it, uh, you know, I like I've been getting a lot of DMs from you guys as well, asking about the lines, you know, which one should I choose? And, and, and also, uh, James uh, did a video on that, how to draw a line. I mean, the concept is pretty much the same, right? But I just want to go a little bit and, you know, in depth today on how to choose the right line in trading, right? I mean, it all comes down to experience and screen time. Uh, the more you do it, the better you will get. And, you know, uh, when, when you look at the chart, I mean, I'm not saying that, uh, you know, I'm good at it, but, uh, you know, for me now, since I've been trading around for quite a while, uh, it's been a few years and, for me, I'm looking at the chart now. I know which one it's likely going to work. So I just want to show you guys that uh, so that you can, maybe it could help, you know, your process uh, regarding uh, choosing the right line. And, uh, you know, like I said, I've been going over this, uh, you know, a lot. And uh, But I still get so many DMs uh, asking about this uh, today and also some of the questions from the weekend, like, mentoring today uh, i did some phone calls with the members uh you know last week as well asking about the lines and uh sometimes like they know the line right but they see uh, they are still fear like kind of fearful of placing a trade uh because you know maybe they still you know didn't trust the process yet or maybe they see something on the tape yeah you know the real time kind of actions kind of you know scare them off a little bit so I just want to go over that and you know hope this video will be helpful and of course uh, guys you know trading is not easy right there's no a or b or c there's no secret kind of you know uh niche or like you know secret sauce to it it's all about uh you know trying to kind of improve yourself daily even though sometimes uh the move something you see it, it's so clear but you know anything could happen right and I'm gonna bring up some examples here and I just gonna go over them real quick on something like MIST I believe yeah this is you know on the technical side you know it doesn't make sense right I mean that's I think this is the crucial part uh, for you to see how trading can be I mean how tough it can be even though you have everything lined up right the stock uh, I mean, I mean, uh, drawing the line here, it's, it's not that, uh, you know, uh, hard. I mean, you can see clearly the line is like nine on, you know, if you want to give yourself a little bit room. So this is the outer line to me, nine, and maybe stop out over this break of high. Right. And that's what we usually tell the members to, to do, uh, like same thing in the pre-market. This is the line. This is the key line pre-market height of day. That's usually the line I'm using the most, okay? And as a short seller, I don't want to see this type of line to get broken, right? So breaks the pre-market high, I have to stop out. Breaks the high of it, I have to stop out. It doesn't matter where you get in. 
uh, if you're chasing down here i mean yes you know the slippage is going to be pretty bad and you have to give the stock you know enough range for this is to be valid right i mean i did the same video on that on, on the stop outs uh last week how to stop out properly in trading you know based on the same concept over and over again hey guys my name is tosh bradley and one of the head mentors and monitors at my investing club if you have any questions about getting started in trading getting started in mic mic in general text me at 213-458-5997 this is not a robot it is me directly on the other end of my business line and uh, we'll get you in the club we also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up. Back to the video. There's something I want to say in here. As you can see, MIST went from pre-market, uh, you know, broke a new high uh, right at the open. And it's, it's like it, it's been, you know, a channel kind of trading around this area, 9 uh, to like 8. So pop up, pops, uh, you know, pop up to 9 drop to eight nine eight nine eight you know made something like 860 here and then nine here and then again a slam right uh, the moment it slam it tried to kind of grind out a little bit and then this stuff candle you know broke this support i mean technically it's over right anyone's long in here this is the time for them to bell is this you know the big sign for kind of a trend change in the whole whole picture right why you know it doesn't tank i mean it, it did tank a little bit and then it just reclaim all the way back i mean if you ask yourself these questions like you know it just doesn't make sense to me at all right i mean yes that's what trading is really about the probabilities the the only thing we have is the probabilities okay so it doesn't matter what setup i mean it, uh, let's say this is the death line right this is that line, that line bridge, you short all back to bounce. Yes. I mean, it worked maybe eight or nine out of 10 times. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I mean, that's the best probability setup that you can get from trading. Like Bao said, you can never get the 21 hand in trading. Never. The best you can get is that those 20 hands. And we want to focus on that, right? So out of, you know, uh, eight nine out of ten times i mean that's that's you know a solid enough strategy for us to kind of focus on right and and uh you know but uh at that you know 10 or 20 percent left i mean this is you know what is accounts for that move and there's really not much you can do about it i mean even you know I know it doesn't make sense at all. Uh, you know, I've, I would be short, shorting into this as well, uh, you know, and then cover here. But, you know, this is all about risk management. Uh, what if, right, the problem here or the question here is you have to ask yourself, okay, so I have a good setup line you know, in front of me. I saw that. I waited for this, right? I waited for this to crack before I get in. Perfect. Okay, so, you know, I short something here on that bounce cover here just to pay myself a little bit and let the rest ride, right? But then, I mean, if you just stuck to that risk management part and you put the rest for the stop, you know, break even or whatever, I mean, you, you would have been fine, right? But it's like, uh, you know, the ego parts of us, like many of us, uh, you know, have, you know, that kind of ego and... Uh, that's why it leads to kind of, you know, blow up and everything. When you, when you know something that you're so sure, right? I mean, this is, this is it, right? It broke this trend line and it's going to go down. I'm going to load the boat here. I'm going to be rich and all that, you know, you can tell, you know, all that yourself. I, you know, I've been there before. I did the same thing. My ego is just got so big that I got stubborn. And the moment the stock pops, it just kept adding, 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 adding all the way up here. And the moment when I realized I was wrong, you know, it was too late. My, the max pain hit on, you know, kind of margin call or like, a, you know, close out the blow up kind of point is right here. So just want uh, to talk about this uh, trade real quick. Sometimes it doesn't make sense. Yes. But that's trading what it's all about. That's trading. That's why. You can never tell 100% what's going to be in trading. Uh, you know, you, you never know. Anything could happen, right? I mean, if I knew for 100% sure 
why I'm not betting everything on that one single trade and then, you know, make me rich, right? And then I'll be done with it. Or I just wait for that 100% kind of trade to get in and then that's it. You know, I could wait for it for a month or two, whatever. But if I know there was a 100% chance, you know, trade that is working, why I have to take, you know, the 80% or 90%, uh, you know, trade? That's a, just a probabilities game. I don't want to be guessing here, right? But guessing, you know, the probabilities, that's all the part of this game. You know, trading, that's all there is. So, same thing with the line, guys. I mean, there's no secret about lines. It's just like the outer works better than the inner, right? That's what we're trying to do. That's what we're trying to teach you. That's why, that's what we're trying to show you. Uh, you know, which line has the, you know, the best probabilities. And I got, a, you know, I got some of the questions from the weekend men, men, mentoring today asking about low hanger. Okay. Low hanging fruit, right? I mean, I'm not going to mention names, but uh, he said, uh, you know, I put out watch list. Alex put out watch list, but uh, we have some, you know, sort of lines and 80 or 90 percent uh, of the time it doesn't hit. Right. Yes. But when it does, it's going to be really good. I mean, the point I'm trying to make here, the point and why I'm, I'm making a watch list daily is to put a plan out there for you guys to know it's like, you know, for me kind of saying which line I think it's going to work the best. Right. And because I know once one of those lines, if they hit, you know, plan is going to work. And usually you will, you know, not end up like, you know, squeezing you guys or something. I just want you, you guys to be safe. So I have to kind of choose the proper line, what I think is the best. And with the best kind of probabilities and the best chance for it, you know, to succeed, right? Like, so let's say IVR, I put out the other day on, on the watch list uh, for the low hanger, okay? Let's say you don't see that, right? It was, uh, you know, in the morning, yeah. So by looking at this chart, you know, what line would be the best? I mean, I've explained it about, uh, you know, on the low hanging fruit, how the scale into those, I always use the pivot, uh, those two pivots, uh, you know, lines, but, uh, like, you know, I could put out a line out there that it's going to hit, you know, I don't have problem with that. I could do that easily. Okay. So, uh, let's say the pre-market is like 1.7. I could, you know, tell you guys, or I put out the watch list out there for, uh, for the line, like 1.8 or 177, right? chances are it's going to hit that line, right? If you want that line to be hit, I can put out there every single day. You know, that's easy for me. But I know if I put out the line, some something, you know, if, if I put out the line like that, it's, you know, chances are it's going to, you know, end up squeezing you like most of the times. And so I don't want you guys to be in the, you know, kind of position that, uh, you know, either way too early or, like then there's not much meat left, uh, you know, on that particular, uh, like particular. All right, guys. Uh, so I hope this video is helpful. Uh, if you still need anything, DM me anytime. And uh, I wish you guys, uh, you know, have a great, uh, you know, Sunday. Uh, so, yeah, guys. So uh, I see you guys on uh, next one. Take care. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.